Okay, so we're at Mount Coulomb today. We're in front of the Taking Care of Business project bolted by Antoine Mousset somewhere in the last five years. Conditions are nearly perfect. After the sun rises a little bit, some of the humidity should clear up and I'll have a pretty good chance of sending it. Um, it's rumored to be about grade 31 through 33 and it's probably going to be the hardest route in Mount Coulomb, which uh, probably means it's going to be the hardest route in Queensland. Um, Robbie Phillips, a climber from Scotland, is going to come today. Uh, and he's had a few shots already, but he's going to have another shot, one last one today before he flies out. So we're hoping to get the first ascent of the hardest route in Queensland. Hi, my name is Robbie Phillips, and I'm a professional climber from Scotland. The Taking Care of Business project was something I really wanted to do, and I knew I could do it. I had a few days left to try it, and on my last day, I gave absolutely everything for one last ditch attempt to see if I can get the send. Coolum was a place that I've been told about for many years. Someone builds it up in your head so much and it becomes this uh, legendary spot that I really wanted to visit. And then actually having the opportunity to, to come to Australia to climb here and to make a first ascent of such a, an awe-inspiring line at this crag, yeah, it meant a lot to me. So yeah, anyway, uh, the start boulder problem for me wasn't too bad. Um, literally off pulling off the deck. It was confusing learning the sequence here. Um, the rock, the rhyolite in Coulomb is so weird. It's such a very strange style to climb on. And uh, yeah, it took quite a bit to get used to. I think climbing there the previous couple of weeks had helped. The Hagasaurus Rex in itself, yeah, I found, the, I found it very strange movements. And mantling that first little bulge was quite interesting. Then finding the knee bar, even though it was an obvious place to stick a knee bar, it was still a little bit tricky getting it in there. And I don't think anyone had actually managed to get the no hands there before I did. So yeah, I got that um, no hands rest and that allowed me to clip high um, and get a little bit secure before heading into this first boulder crux. So yeah, anyway, kind of traversing this rail, um, it was really challenging. I think the boulder problem in itself was probably V10, which is font 7C+. Um, there was a powerful flick out left to catch some little crimp, which I struggled with immensely. And then learning this sequence here, sort of bumping between the little crimps of the rail and rocking over on that left foot, yeah, that took quite a bit to figure out. And then, of course, the, the crux move for me, which was slapping again with my left hand right into the outright. That was really tough, really challenging. It took me quite a number of goes to get that one, to figure that one out. Um, I remember when I did it, JJ was belaying, and I was just so psyched that, that I did that move. Uh, and then it was at that moment that I realized this route was possible. So yeah, when I stuck that move, it was great. Um, then there was a ten, sort of tentative move, kind of pulling over, a little bit delicate. But then you're trusting that left foot quite heavily, um, which is good. But again, it's quite slick and it always felt like it could slip at any moment. So I had to really put the pressure on the foot. Um, and then pulling over on this bulge section here, um, <clears throat> just after the crux, again, very delicate, delicate moves, very balanced. Um, the actual climbing itself wouldn't be too hard if it was on its own because you've just kind of done that bouldery crux right at the very start. You've definitely got to be on the ball for sure. So following straight away you're into this technical section, you can't really rest too much. Um, you're getting kind of okay holds, but again, n not the not not the best for you to be able to shake out too much on. I think uh, I was lucky here in that I could get something back just before this next section because there was like a really powerful move that I was always a little bit worried about, especially because it was a full on jump. So I would get that drop knee whilst laying back off those slopey, slopey holds, reach high into this horrible little crimp, reposition my feet, and then just engage fully and go for this jump. Come on. 
after having done that bottom section, you're nervous, you're not sure what it's going to be like, um, you initiating that move, you've just got to go for it. You've got to be 100% committed. And to be 100% committed when it's the red point and the potential first ascent, yeah, you've got to, you've got to really keep that out of your head. You've just got to think, just climb like it's any other route, any other day. You've just got to go for it 100% never give up. The um, thing you got to remember with the rhyolite is it's super slick and um, you don't really get much off the rock and um, the friction is terrible so it actually yeah it was actually almost beneficial on the day slightly but the fact that the conditions weren't perfect um, like it was slightly damp, slightly humid, it almost uh, reminded me a little bit of uh, the sticky damp we get back home and some of the more polished limestone, uh, where it actually helps to get a little bit, a little bit humid. I think in my head I was constantly thinking just don't let go, just don't let go, I'm worth it all the way. And then from there to the top, probably like doing an added 27, so 7C grade rip uh, on top of that. Um, so definitely not easy, very, very uh, high potential to muck it up if you if you make a mistake and you know just because it's Coulomb, it's, it's just really easy to muck up anything at Coulomb I think. Uh, that's what makes it so special a venue to climb at. Um, the most, yeah, the most radical, the most insane style of climbing I think I've ever climbed anywhere in the world. And uh, yeah, I've climbed in a lot of places. So as you kind of progress through from this rest, you move up, you're grabbing lots of slopey holds, lots of heel hooks, lots of foot movements, just slowly building your body higher and higher. I got like a nice knee scum there and then grab some sloper holds which felt terrible that day just because it was humid. Um, the sticky damp didn't work for those ones as much as it did for the initial crimps on the V10. Uh, yeah, and then there was this really sketchy bit where I threw my foot, my hand down to grab this undercut to still compress my body into the wall so that I wouldn't lose contact. And that was a really sketchy moment. I wasn't sure if I had it there. <clears throat> and then as soon as you turn around and grab that huge big football jug, it's pretty much over there and you I was pretty relieved when I grabbed that. I knew that I had it had it when I grabbed that big football jug. Um, I knew that I'd done the route. I was pretty psyched, but I wanted to keep it together and just make sure that I wasn't going to muck it up.
yeah, clipping those chains was probably the best feeling I had whilst climbing in Australia, for sure. That was amazing to do. First ascent at Kula. Shots is that, Robbie? I have no idea. <laughs> Quite a few days. <laughs> That's awesome. Psyched, first ascent. <sighs> now I've got to think of a name. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Oh, now I can go home. <laughs> Wicked. I can't believe I did that. Awesome. Oh, brilliant. Cheers, guys. <clears throat> Alright, now I need to get the quick dress done. Oh, oh no, well, unless you guys want to get more filming. Do you want to do it again? I can do it again in multiple views, wherever you want. Let's do it again. Okay. <laughs> cool, bring me down. Well, today my intention was to come and climb the unclimbed project at Coulomb. Um, it was reckoned to be in the region of 32. Uh, wasn't sure it would happen today, but luckily managed to pull out all the stops and send it. So I'm pretty psyched about that. I reckon it's probably around 33, 8 sea level. I think that's probably the, one of the highlights of my climbing career. really psyched to have, to have done this and to have put my mark on Coulomb to finally have a first ascent. Yeah, pretty psyched.